Yo guys, what's up? Another endgame study in the house. It is white to move. What the heck is the answer? As always, pause your video, try to find the solution on your own, and then we will work on this to get there. So, um, I'm starting to have some ideas. All right, so the clear first move you're looking at is rook h7 because it skewers the two pieces. And then you logically look at knight e6 because now it moves one of the pieces out of the way and attacks our piece. And so basically what you do is you see those two moves. You realize it's probably not the correct... It might be the correct first move. Um, and then you probably want to think about how to, how to trap that bishop. That's what it seems like to me. Hmm. So... Here's, well, I'm confused. One second. Un momento, por favor. It doesn't seem to quite work the way I wanted it to. You can always look at this throwing in a check first, because this move is forced. Because if he puts the king on the D file, rook here, and we take the bishop with check. So, I mean... Let's take a look at this, because now knight checks happen in, in key positions, so that could be useful. Let's try this again. Has this made a significant difference in any way? It's not easy, because this d4 square is defended, and therefore, like when we play this, we can't go knight d4 check, because the knight defends it. So it makes things a little tougher than I was hoping. Hmm. So then what the heck do we do? I don't know. I'm having difficulty with this one. Whoa, I see an idea, but it looks so crazy. It looks too crazy. Yeah. Um. All right, I'm gonna show this idea, but it looks it looks a little nutty. I was looking at knight h3. It's a little hard to believe, though. Um, the idea is if bishop e8, rook e7. The main idea is that bishop c6, I was going to go rook e7. This doesn't look so good, though. You can just kind of do knight, knight d4. I don't see the point. Hmm. It's a tough one. I'm having, I'm having some difficulty getting to the bottom of this puzzle. Uh, another, no, well, yeah, I guess another idea is this move, with the idea of rook c4 check. So let's investigate that move. The problem is just bishop b5, probably. Doesn't seem to help us too much. Hmm. Man, oh man. Uh, it's not quite getting it. I'll give myself another minute or so, and then I'm going to give up. I'm just, just having some trouble coming up with uh, any good ideas here. Sad, I haven't had to give up in a puzzle for a while. But this one is looking pretty, pretty tough. If rook, you know, rook e3, he can take it with his bishop. Um, I just, I don't know. Let's try throwing this move again. I just don't see how it helps in any realistic way. Who? Uh... I don't know, man. Let me look at this again. 
Mm, just not not quite getting it. All right, I guess I give up. I'm gonna try to just guess the first move. <laughs> See if I'm right. Uh, uh, I was totally wrong. So let's see what the answer is. First, whoa, ninety four is the first move. Okay, I wouldn't even have thought about that. Oh, with running rook c five, I should have thought about it. So, oh, and if he goes ninety six, we can go knight c five. For example. Bishop c8, rook, rook here looks winning. If knight takes, rook takes, followed, followed by rook to d5. And we're going to go rook c. We're, we're threatening check and check, and there's like no, no defense. That's like just somehow a really tough move. Um, but yeah, knight e4 is the answer. And just to like, there's no way to stop this rook c5. If knight a6, knight to c5. If knight takes, rook takes, followed by rook d5. And if bishop c8, rook a8. Well, that's a, that was a tough puzzle. I don't know, somehow this move just didn't... It, it just looks like we should be moving the rook. This move just didn't even register as my can, a candidate move, honestly. So, oh well, <coughs> I am wrong. Is that too wrong in a row for me? I think it is, so now I'm kind of pissed off. <laughs> Tomorrow, man, I'm going to get the, the next one right for sure. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.